In theoretical physics, a supermultiplet is a representation of a supersymmetry algebra. It consists of a collection of particles, called superpartners, corresponding to operators in a quantum field theory which in superspace are represented by superfields. Superfields were introduced by Abdus Salam and J. A. Strathdee in their 1974 article Supergauge Transformations, Operations on Superfields and a Partial Classification were presented a few months later by Sergio Ferrara, Julius Wesses and Bruno Zumino in Supergauge Multiplets and Superfields. The most commonly used supermultiplets are vector multiplets, chiral multiplets in 4dn equals 1 supersymmetry for example, hypermultiplets in 4dn equals 2 supersymmetry for example, tensor multiplets and gravity multiplets. The highest component of a vector multiplet is a gauge boson, the highest component of a chiral or hypermultiplet is a spinner, the highest component of a gravity multiplet is a graviton. The names are defined so as to be invariant under dimensional reduction, although the organization of the fields as representations of the Lorentz group changes. Note, however, that the use of these names for the different multiplets can vary in literature. Sometimes a chiral multiplet whose highest component is a spinner can be referred to as a scalar multiplet. Also, in n equals 2 Susie, a vector multiplet whose highest component is a vector can sometimes be referred to as a chiral multiplet. Especially in theories with extended supersymmetry, supermultiplets can be divided to short supermultiplets and long supermultiplets, essentially according to the dimensionality. The short supermultiplets coincide with the BPS states. A scalar is never the highest component of a superfield, whether it appears in a superfield at all depends on the dimension of the spacetime. For example, in a 10-dimensional n equals 1 theory the vector multiplet contains only a vector and a Majorana whale spinner, while its dimensional reduction on a d-dimensional torus is a vector multiplet containing d-real scalars. Similarly, in an 11-dimensional theory there is only one supermultiplet with a finite number of fields, the gravity multiplet, and it contains no scalars. However again its dimensional reduction on a d-torus to a maximal gravity multiplet does contain scalars. Chiral superfield In four dimensions, the minimal n equals 1 supersymmetry may be written using the notion of superspace. Superspace contains the usual space-time coordinates x mu display style x caret mu mu equals 0 3 display style mu equals 0 l dots 3 and four extra fermionic coordinates theta 1 theta 2 theta 1 theta 2 display style theta caret 1 theta caret 2 bar theta caret 1 bar theta caret 2 transforming as a two component whale spinner and its conjugate in n equals 1 supersymmetry in 3 plus 1 d, a chiral superfield is a function over chiral superspace. There exists a projection from the full superspace to chiral superspace. So, a function over chiral superspace can be pulled back to the full superspace. Such a function satisfies the covariant constraint d f equals Zero. Display style overline d f equals zero. Similarly, we also have an antichiral superspace, which is the complex conjugate of chiral superspace and antichiral superfields. Phi y theta equals a y plus two theta. Psi Y plus theta theta F Y 
Display style phi y theta equals a y plus sqrt two theta psi y plus theta theta f y y mu equals x mu plus i theta sigma mu theta Display style y caret mu equals x caret mu plus i theta sigma caret mu bar theta. Topic: Vector multiplet. A vector superfield depends on all coordinates. It describes a gauge field and its superpartner, namely a Weyl fermion that obeys a Dirac equation. V equals C plus I theta chi minus I theta chi plus I two theta two M plus I N minus I two theta two M minus I N minus theta sigma mu theta V mu plus I theta two theta lambda plus i 2 sigma mu mu chi minus i theta 2 theta lambda plus i 2 sigma mu mu chi plus 1 2 theta 2 theta 2 d plus 1 2 white medium square c Display style v equals c plus i theta chi i overline theta overline chi plus tfrac i two theta caret two m plus in tfrac i two overline theta caret two m in theta sigma caret mu overline theta v underscore mu plus i theta caret two overline theta left overline lambda plus tfrac i two overline sigma caret mu partial underscore mu chi right I overline theta carrot two theta left lambda plus TFRAC I two sigma carrot mu partial underscore mu overline chi right plus TFRAC one two theta carrot two overline theta carrot two left D plus TFRAC one two box C right V is the vector superfield prepotential and is real V equals V the fields on the right-hand side are component fields. Their transformation properties and uses are discussed in supersymmetric gauge theory. Topic: <laughs> Hypermultiplet. A hypermultiplet is a type of representation of an extended supersymmetry algebra, in particular the matter multiplet of n equals two supersymmetry in four dimensions, containing two complex scalars i, a Dirac spinner ψ, and two further auxiliary complex scalars ψ. The name, hypermultiplet, comes from old term, hypersymmetry. For n equals 2 supersymmetry used by Fiat 1976, this term has been abandoned, but the name hypermultiplet for some of its representations is still used. Topic. See also. 
Supersymmetric gauge theory D term F term <laughs>